Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure that you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a new video. Run that lady her money, Jeezy. According to a new legal docs, Jenny Mai says her rapper ex-husband is not following through with a bunch of things they agreed to when they finalized their divorce. Jenny Mai says their divorce settlement calls for GZ to pay for daycare costs and school tuition for their child, deposit at least $500,000 and an interest-bearing account for the kid, transfer the title for two cars, and cover four months of her rent. You guys, Jeezy is ghosting Jenny Mai. Jenny Mai claims Jeezy already owes her $4,000 for tuition and childcare costs, and she says he hasn't given her access to the $500,000 account he was supposed to set up for their daughter. As for the cars, Jenny Mai says their divorce settlement called for her to walk away from the marriage with a 2021 Range Rover and a 2022 Ford Bronco. But she says Jeezy has yet to transfer the titles over to her, preventing her from being able to insure the vehicles and delaying her ability to have the Bronco shipped from Atlanta to Los Angeles. She also claims the divorce settlement calls for Jeezy to cover her rent from May through August, but she says he's yet to reimburse her and owes $92,417.39 for nearly four months of rent payments. Jenny Mai and Jeezy finalized their divorce on June 11, and the settlement was put under seal. Jenny Mai says her lawyers have tried to get Jeezy to follow the terms of their settlement by going through his team, but she says his side stopped responding in July, and now she's asking the court for help enforcing the settlement. She wants him held in contempt and is going after him for what she says he owes, plus interest. He needs to go ahead and give that lady her money. He knew what it was. He agreed to this settlement. You see, they had a prenup, and she was trying to break the prenup. <laughs> but I don't think she got much. Look, $500,000 for their daughter's bank account, two cars, a 2021 Range Rover, a 2022 Ford Bronco, a $4,000 tuition and child care course, and what was it? Four months of rent which totaled $92,000. So this was like way under 1 million. So she didn't really get much out of it, unless he doesn't have much. Or maybe that's all the lawyer could get out of him since they had a prenup. I don't know. But that marriage was a waste. Everyone knew that wasn't going to last. I think they knew too. But they wanted to go viral, you know? She never got this much attention before until she got with him because on that talk show she really wasn't you know she really wasn't getting attention people didn't really know who she was she was known as the you know asian girl because she would say some crazy stuff you know and <laughs> and when they got together she became this trendy fashionista she was on all of the blogs the black blogs <laughs> You know, so she was loving the attention. She clearly got with him for the attention, for the publicity. And come to find out they are both toxic, they're both abusive. He, She accused him of beating her up and she has a temper, she's aggressive, she's toxic. She even put hands on him too, I believe. And her ex-husband, he said so many things about her, he could not stand her. That's why he left her. He said she was toxic and she didn't want any kids. But of course, after she got with Jeezy, she said yes, yes, yes to kids because she knew she could get money with a kid. She could get more money out of him. So this is her second divorce and Jeezy's first divorce. Yeah, so and it didn't even last two years. 
Yeah, they didn't even make it to two years. That is crazy. These people don't take marriage seriously. It is quite sad. A lot of these celebrities are getting divorced because, you know, their whole hookup is not even based on love. It's based on publicity, it's based on attention seeking. That's why a lot of them, they are divorcing left and right. And they even bring innocent babies to their godless marriage, their publicity marriage. Like, why? Like, if you're gonna do all these, you know, stupid publicity stuff, like, you know, just, I don't know, but why bring in kids, innocent kids in the mix? I don't get it. But you guys, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.